Good morning, everybody. I wanted to do a quick video here on uh, what's going on in the market. Since the Friday jobs report, the jobs report came in higher than expected. Um, unemployment rate didn't budge, but that's okay. Um, jobs are plentiful. The labor market's still pretty tight, which is very good. Um, if you're looking for a job, um, inflation came down a little bit too. Problem is with the job report, there was some conflict because we had a ton of layoffs in the tech sector, but uh, appears pretty strong. So hopefully it's just strong going into the holiday. And we'll take it from there. But I want to do a video on the market since then. Um, inside the frame, you'll see the spiders. This is a 15 minute chart of the spiders of uh, the SPY, excuse me. And you'll see this is the big rocket we got after the jobs report, right? Or leading up to the jobs report, I should say. Then it fell into this demand zone right here. We got a nice move out. I was just identifying this for one of my students who's uh, new to the supply and demand methodology. And you'll see it entered there, gave you some pain, then finally started to trickle out, rocketed out. Now we're back down, gave up some of those gains today. Um, I don't think it's the biggest deal. This is a 15 minute. Let me take some of this stuff off. So when I uh, go to the higher, this is a 15 minute chart. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to load up the daily and we can see what's going on. That'll give us a better picture. Oh, okay. I see what happened. So it looks like the other day we gapped right into it. Damn. All right. It looks a little different than the ES futures, but we got made it right into this little area here. You'll see what price rallied. And then we got a pretty significant drop there. Let me get rid of this for one of our last calls. So we have here is now a daily supply zone. Wow, really held nicely. Touched right there. <clears throat> we had a nice drop. Here's today. We dropped and then recovered on Friday. Um, kind of doing a little bit of nothing. It's not an inside day anymore. It just broke that previous day's low. So we'll see. We do have some downside here then. <clears throat> this holding, even with the jobs report and all that, might be pretty bearish for the market, to be honest with you. Um, we already had this happen. That's a tested weak demand zone. So I actually think we're going to wind up to the downside. Right around. You guys can't see where we are. Hold on one second. I think we'll wind up back in this 395 area here. This is the spy on a daily chart. Move the frame over a little. See the 395.32? We're up here at 402. I bet we give up another $5 in the market today. I'm not trading that. Um, I'm completely flat when it comes to the SPY. I've got pending trades in just for full transparency. What are my pending trades? <coughs> Sorry about the cough, guys. I'm still uh, fighting that cold I had last week. Um, I've got pending trades in MET, AIG, XLC, uh, and that's it. And then all on uh, the option side of things. All right, let's go back to the SPY. Yeah, SPY is kind of in the middle from that. So it's bounced off that supply zone very nicely. So it's shorted from there. Uh, you're in good good position. Um, but I think we do want to give up these previous gains and we'll wind up back in the 395 area. What happens at that 395 area is going to be a little bit tricky because when we get down there, test its demands, this tested demand zone here. Let me make this blue or something. Make it purple. I test the demand zone I put in purple. That is going to be, there's a chance it could hold, but it, it the reason I say it could hold is because that's a fairly bullish candle. Problem is it's off a news report. So we'll see. So, but right now I think we're want to, I think the bears want to bring price at least down to the 395 area and then we'll take it from there. If that, if that breaks below that, then we could be in for some more downside. But today's only Monday, so let's see what happens. Um, if you're part of our community and you're going to be on tomorrow's call, we'll go into this a little bit. Uh, we have a Zoom call just about every Tuesday around 11, and um, we can go into this a little bit more detail. But right now we've got a couple things. This supply zone holding on the SPY, this is a daily chart. We've broke the prior day's trading range. Uh, we broke below that previous uh, Friday's low, which is a good, which is a sign. Uh, for good market conditions now, but I actually think we want to head up down to that 395 area. So let's see where we end up. Um, if you like this video, please actually hit that thumbs up button on the YouTube link and um, 
if you would like to be part of our community where we analyze these trades regularly and actually distribute them, then uh, you, you'll see my calendar link there. Grab the calendar link, find a time that works for you that I'm available, and uh, we'll jump on a Zoom. I'll show you how I trade these supply and demand areas and how we uh, help you get as good as we are, and we'll take it from there. Uh, it was good talking. Have a good and safe trading day this week, guys. Bye.